Oh, it's an exciting Monday here at the Sinatra Lennon household. I got a package today, two things inside of it, my new signature brush and Ken Cerf's new signature brush. And here they are side by side. Ken Cerf's new summer signature brush. There it is. And the Sinatra Lennon new just overall signature brush. I've got the what? They're both synthetic. This is the tuxedo knot because it's black and white. There they are. They're just head button, head button. No, I'm good. I love Ken. He's great. If you haven't watched Ken's channel, go watch it as soon as you're done with this video. Ken Surf's on YouTube. He is fantastic wet, uh, wet shaver on YouTube. You can learn a lot from him. He's a good guy. And then here's mine. Also a synthetic in all white. Isn't that interesting? And it's got the barber pole handle, kind of like Barbasol, which is kind of why I liked it. See? See? Similar, similar barber pole. And the white synthetic knot, just for fun. Uh, I'm not going to shave with this one today. I'll shave with this one uh, later. But I am going to shave with the Ken Surfs. I love this. I love the see-through blue. It reminds me of the Jolly Rancher. Here's the Jolly Rancher next to it. Yeah, I like that. And it's got the green with some depth. Almost looks like a bowling ball plastic. And it's got the synthetic tuxedo knot. And I believe this is going for $23 right now. There'll be links below. Anyway, so let's shave with this. We're going to use some uh, Taylor of Old Bond Street. There's a YouTube uh, thumbnail for you. <laughs> uh, almond shaving cream today. I'm going to shave with my trusty Rockwell 6S with a feather blade in it. I use the, uh, the number five. Can you see that? Number five. And for aftershave, what the heck, we'll try out the fine aquamarine just because I haven't used it in a while and it's fairly new and I want to try it. So, took a shower, did my hair, got some hot water down here, going to put some Ken Surfs in the hot water, his brush that is, and put some hot water on my face. You know, I just got a whiff of the, the fine aquamarine, it reminds me of my dad's cologne. I'm not sure what he wears, but it reminds me of him. Okay, so let me get this stuff out of the way here. I've got all kind of stuff going on here. All kind of stuff. The Ken Surf's brush, the brand new one from DS Cosmetics. Link below. All right, this is exciting. I've never had one of Ken's brushes before, so this is cool. Maybe I can get him to autograph it for me. I'm just gonna put a little bit on, because this is real soft. I know I've said this, this is almost the consistency of yogurt. It's a little stiffer than that. Oh, the almond smells so good. So that's about all you need. That's probably too much. And with a nice synthetic brush like this one, it's gonna lather up something fierce, I guarantee it. Not a guarantee. All right, here we go. I'm trying to think. I did shave yesterday, Sunday. So I got, you know, a normal day's growth. It's still, it's funny to me. People are like, why do you shave every day? It's like, I just like to. I don't like feeling unshaven. Seems strange. But you know, different cultures, different people, different, different opinions. Oh, this is so thick and rich, man. Have you never tried Taylor Bold Bond Street? Mmm, so thick and rich. Probably use a little bit more water. I'm gonna sprinkle some water on there for my second pass. Clean up the bottom of the neck there. And go with the Rockwell with the five um, thing. It's not a setting, it's a thing. Grungy. Somebody said that I should call that other 1959 a fat boy. Cousin Krusty, and that was my favorite suggestion. So I think that's Cousin Krusty. We got Grandpa Grungy and Cousin Krusty. So if you were the uh, the fellow that suggested that, thank you very much. You win uh, my undying gratitude and uh, the naming of one of my razors. I never thought I'd name a razor. Have you guys ever named one of your razors before? Besides just Gillette Mach 3 or whatever? I know, it's a strange thing, isn't it? What a strange guy. Well, I hope you're all doing well. We're done with the first month of this staying at home nonsense. I say nonsense. I think it's working. I think that all the indications are it's working. No matter how stir crazy we all are, how bad we want to get back out there, let's just hold on a little bit longer, all right? All right. That's all I'll say about that. That's all I have to say about that, as Forrest Gump once said. But things are going well here. We've got some beautiful sunny weather. I don't know if you can tell, but uh, it's warm. I think winter is over, which is fitting that I'm using the Ken Surf's Summer Release Special Edition Signature Brush. Very cool. Hope Ken and his family are doing well. 
He lost his mother recently. Which reminds me of another viewer that wrote in to me and asked if I could mention that uh, he had lost his father recently. And uh, his name, uh, and the fellow that wrote in is named Benjamin Hurlbert. So my condolences go out to you, Benjamin, and your family. Uh, in this time of of sorrow and sadness, and I hope you're staying strong. I hope you're, uh, you know, staying safe, and I uh, hope you get all the good support and love that you can. And thinking about your dad, so yeah. So the last video, changing the subject, deftly, was uh, <laughs> those those two Donlix uh, electric razors, shavers, whatever you want to say. You know, that's not my cup of tea, but the company wanted me to do it, and I thought, well, I'll try. They didn't pay me or anything. They just sent them to me, and it was like, you know, it's, it's it, if I just did the exact same thing in every video, I mean, why would you? That'd be boring, right? Just switch it up every now and then. Okay, I put a little bit more water in this. This is lathering beautifully. I knew it would. I mean, there was no question. Any synthetic brush that I've ever used from DS Cosmetics has always been fantastically made and it feels good, looks good, lathers beautifully. So the Ken Serves brush, it's a little bit larger than my brush. I can't remember the millimeter, see the handle on his? It's a little bit fatter, a little bit taller. It looks like the knots are about the same, about the same, but both synthetic. Can't wait to try out my signature brush in an upcoming video, probably on Friday. All right, second pass, everybody. Against the green. But, uh... If you're one of those people that have never tried shading with a brush, I would sincerely suggest that you try with a synthetic brush first, because there is a little bit more of a learning curve Curve, <laughs> learning curve, <laughs> with a natural bristle brush like this one. This is the Boar and Badger mix, and I got some great advice. Mom always said, "Don't talk with your mouth cheek blown out when you're shaving." It's a very specific thing for her to say, but she always said it. It's like, "Mom, I'm seven years old. What are you talking about? Don't talk with your cheap mouth cheek blown out when you're shaving." Anyway, whew, yeah, it's getting to me. It's getting to me, folks. It's not. It's not. I'm just kidding. Um, so I took the advice of some of a couple of people on how to soften a boar hair bristle brush. They said, soak it in cold water for 24 hours and then take it out and rub it up against a towel a bunch. And that would split the ends of the boar hair into more and finer hair bristles and then it'll be softer and that's what I did and it was so I'll shave again with this coming up soon this is the one that's the combination badger and boar kept it in the refrigerator in cold water just down like that you know about up to there and then uh, after 24 hours I took it out you know did like this on the on the towel and it did soften it up I haven't shaved with it yet but I did secretly rub it against my face a few times it's my little secret. Sometimes when I stress has got me down, I sneak off to the shaved end here and uh, just rub a dry brush against my cheek. It's like, oh, everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. I don't do that. But if you do it, good. Whatever, whatever it is that gets you through the day or the night, do it as long as it doesn't hurt you or anybody else. How about that? What was it that Frank Sinatra said? He said, I'm for anything that gets you through the night, whether it's Jack Daniels, prayer, or anything else. But like I said, don't do anything that'll hurt you. All right. Lather up, third pass. Oh, this almond shaving cream scent is so, it's so nice, so rich and thick and creamy, easy to lather. Taylor of Old Bond Street. They've been doing it for a hundred some odd years and I got it down. And it's not very expensive. It's worth it. Oh, I hear kids. Gotta lock the door. Or otherwise they'll run in and steal my YouTube fame. No, I'm just kidding. 
All right. There's... <laughs> Uh, hey, thanks for joining me for coffee the other morning, yesterday morning. I'm like, oh, I got a couple of nicks. Dang it, normally my rock bill doesn't nick me, but every time I talk and don't pay attention, it does. That's okay. They're minor. Somebody asked me if uh, cutting yourself shaving hurts, and it doesn't hurt. Just nicks don't hurt. You don't even feel it. Now, if you really cut yourself, like with a straight razor like I did or a shave it, it doesn't hurt, but you know you cut yourself, you know? But that's why safety razors are called safety razors because they don't give you those deep gouge cuts like a like a straight razor does or a shavette. I hear the sibling squabbling, siblings squabbling right outside the door. Can you hear that? Fighting over who gets to use the uh, computer during their break from school today, something like that. Don't know. Let's listen in, shall we? The drama at my house. This is the ASMR portion of the video where you just listen to me scrape my whiskers off. Ah, oh, see, right on cue. They stopped talking. Oh well, that's all right. <laughs> you don't tune in for that kind of reality show drama here, do you? The Real Wives of Beverly Hills Shavers. I don't know. I don't know. All right. I've got a few nicks because I'm not paying attention. I'm going too fast. Don't go too fast. Don't press too hard. And that, that probably applies not only to wet shaving like this, but uh, in many things in life. Don't go too fast. Don't press too hard. All right. Wash off cold water. Maybe I'll uh, do a little, hold on, a little Allen block. The gentleman John Allen block to tighten up the skin, stop any minor cuts, so I don't have to worry about it. Because there were a few, there's like four of them, and they're very small. So if you're worried about using a safety razor because you think you're going to cut yourself badly, um, I mean you could, of course, but if you use it even close to correctly, you're not going to cut yourself badly. So it's much easier than it might seem in your mind. The worst thing you can do is press too hard, and that's what I did the first time I started using the safety razor. I pressed too hard. All right, I'm going to wash this thing out while the alum sort of dries. Ken Surfs, you did it again. Good choice. Good choice, Ken. Hope you're doing well. Hope your family's doing well out there in California. <laughs> Whenever I squeeze the, squeeze the soap out of the brush at the end of a shave, there's always, it's always fun to play with. Why not? Beat the devil out of it. Let it dry in the sun. There we go. Till the next time. Okay, I'm gonna wash this off. Oh, I have. I forgot. I have two more shout outs. Shout out to you, Joseph Kramer, and shout out to Bobber Khan B K B A B E R. I'm pronouncing it Bobber. Hopefully that's Bobber, Bobber, Baber. Hopefully that's close. I'm not responsible for mispronouncing words even though I'm fully responsible for mispronouncing words. All right, the fine aquamarine aftershave. Whew, I'm gonna need a haircut after all this is done. Here we go, the fine aquamarine. It smells like my dad's cologne, but it's not as strong as a cologne. Oh, that's nice. Just a little hint of a burn, nothing too bad. Hmm. yeah, it's good stuff. A little bit of menthol, a little bit of a, of a manly cologne scent, almost like a some uh, some oranges and grapefruits in it, and some you know I don't know I don't know what do I look like a petroleum geologist to you folks? Anyway, hey, thanks everybody, thanks for joining me. Uh, coming up on Friday, I'll be shaving with the new Sinatra Lennon Signature Brush from DS Cosmetics. Thanks again to May who sent me these. I got them today. I was so excited. Have a good week, everybody, and I will see you all on Friday. Bye.